Hey guys, it's Omega, and I haven't said that intro in a while actually, but recently a trailer for Saints Row the Third Remastered released, and it's been a day now, so I wasn't able to record yesterday because it was an. When I found out that this trailer had been released, I was like, well, I can't record right now. I'll, I'll do this tomorrow morning. So it's the next day, and there's been four um, four trailers. Which is the exact same, I think, with slightly different things. Because I live in the A and Z region, which is the Australian New Zealand area, I have to watch this one. So I'm gonna watch this trailer and see what's different. Um, the audio is gonna be low, so if it's using like um, copyrighted stuff, I shouldn't be hit with copyright claims because I'll be talking over this anyway. But um, let's go. So it's Deep Silver and Volition. That kind of looked blurry. Should I, uh... <laughs> oh, it's already at max. Okay, it's just, um... Probably just YouTube's processing. Ooh! That looks nice. It seems like they've... Let's see... How they're handling the textures. But the textures look more vibrant. And I, th I believe they're using PBR textures, which is physically based rendering, so reflections and stuff look much nicer. And, um, the light reflects off it better and whatnot. Metals look nicer too. And look at the change to the um, textures on the ground, like, that looks nice. Like, if you look at original, okay, so everything looks relatively blurry, looks okay-ish. And then look at the switch. You got grass over here on the right. You got um, very clear and well textured um, sidewalks. And the road also has really good texturing. I think that's even bot mapping over here um, for the pothole and whatnot. And it, it looks super detailed. And by the um, house on the side here, it's lit up better. And I think it's also got like... An increased polygon count, so it ha it'll look like it's got more detail. Or they've just changed how those windows and stuff, I don't know. Well, it just looks nicer, and which is great. Um, The other thing is, if you look at, look at how different the lighting is, I think this would account for bloom or lens flare or both, but you can see the sun there, you got the buildings, and they're kind of like silhouetted into the skybox, right? You pop in a new one. Now you got the sun that's just blaring out, which is super nice. It, it makes it look like the world is actually lit up and not um, dead looking like, um, well, keep going too far back. It doesn't look dead like the original and it looks a little more lively. And, and obviously from this, the actual silhouettes of the skyscrapers are also a little darker actually. And it's more blacker, I guess. That would be the way I'd... Yeah, they're darker, they, which looks nicer, like, you could... I Yeah, you, let's just continue. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is night. Um... Yep. This looks nice. And BAM! <laughs> it's so much more vibrant. The skybox, if you look at the skybox, let's pop back to the thing. So the skybox is like this nice dark blue, like kind of navy bluish sort of color. And then, it, and if you go to remaster, it's pretty much black. But um, the changes in lighting also allow the, um, basically the lights to pop in it, as you can see here. Where the, the, the building in the back is like kind of dark and not lit at all really. And then you just go to the remaster and it's lit nicely and it seems like the these TVs or blood screens are actually creating enough light that it's actually lighting up most of this area as you can see like the red is being shot onto the um, ground you got the pink being cascaded onto the building over here and it's just the overall area is pink and Properly because of all the light from the screen, so all the lighting is being redone to look much nicer, which is really good. Um, I believe all the assets were like recreated from scratch, so 
There, there might be slight differences, but most of it seems like it's texture and lighting. Like the billboard itself looks like it's exactly the s no way it's not exactly the same. I think it's slightly different. If you if you look at the corner of the billboard over here, it looks just the slightest bit different. So okay, so they have remodeled everything, and there's gonna be slight differences, but it'll look pretty much exactly the same. And if you notice, they also got rid of the pixely effect on the billboards. So you can see how it's got dots of blue all around it. It's probably actually on all the screens. I think that's how they made the um, large screen effect. And now it's more like a smoother texture, which is cool. Um, let's move on. This is a 1 minute and 30 second trailer that I've been talking for a while now. And this is going to be... This looks like an overcast day, and obviously the next thing is everyone gets blown up. Um, if you look at the texture over here and the model over here, we can probably see some anti-aliasing going on. No, not anti-aliasing, some amb ambient inclusion, that's what. Uh, yeah, kinda. Um, everything's modeled to be look close to the original. Uh, there's reflections on the thing, better lighting, shadows. Um, to be fair, they have... Obviously, they're using two different, um, two different areas, um, not areas, times of day. Like, this is overcast and the next one's sunny, so that's kind of not fair. And these explosions look much nicer. And, um, if you have a look at this, a higher poly, um, higher poly, um, characters, much nicer textures as well. Also, obviously PBR. I believe this is also reflecting reflections as well, but because I'm not sure if there's pre-rendered or real-time rendering, but that could be reflecting what's behind the camera. I'm not sure. But the helmet looks much nicer. Like, if you pop into the game and put it out, you actually start, just start a new game and look at this cutscene, you know this helmet doesn't look that good in this um in the old game, so this looks much nicer. The reflections on on the jet that looks awesome. Ooh, this is a good shot. Okay, we get to see a uh, get to see reflections of the parachute and overall lighting over a city when you're like parachuting, and everything looks like it doesn't. Everything looks very bland and flatly lit, and then you just pop over to remaster, and everything feels like it has more depth to it, and the city feels bigger, which is nice. The car is also using a completely different model. If you look, um, it I think they were trying to make it look at close to the same. Obviously, they didn't get the paint right, but uh, if you look closely, it uses a sleeker model, which is nice. Um, I think that was Stag right there. With the shooting and stuff. Yeah, that's Stag. Look at look at the Stag um, thingies. And the laser guns look slightly different. It could be the same model but enhanced maybe. I'm not sure. But it looks very similar to old ones. But, you know, enhanced. Okay, this, the sound though, they changed the sound for some reason. It didn't sound, it didn't bang. And there's, and the Decker's specialist looks slightly different too. Much nicer. Oh, lot of nice lighting. I just like this. Uh, oh, they changed how um, the brutes look. Does that mean Oleg's gonna look different? Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. One thing I noticed is your character looks practically the same. Like, if you just switch between it, it looks like this has been better lighting applied onto your character. Um, so, character creation might not be as different as we thought it could be. I'm not sure, but... It just looks like they um, added, they just made the character model a bit more detailed, but looks relatively the same. 
I think I just saw a custom enforce. What is it? Is it called an enforcer? I forgot what they're called. What are, what are these guys called? This car. It looks custom. It's running yellow and that's either... That looks purpley. Well, look at the thing here. It, so it might be a Saints thing. That is... That yellow is too saturated to be Saints or um, the Saints color scheme. We've got boats, explosions, more explosions and... Was that Sean D right there? Oh, come on. Give me the right frame. Look, look what have, they've changed Sean D. She looks closer to the model we saw in the CGI trailer with um, that one song that everyone likes, likes blasting because it's actually pretty good. That is, ooh, this is going to be interesting. Um, I wonder what Pierce looks like then if they've changed Sean D. Well, that's the trailer and I've been talking for quite a long time. I bet you guys haven't made it this far. <laughs> if you have, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's the usual stuff. Uh, can we... <gasps> we can order it. Holy creep. Okay, then you're gonna see my ye what my age is now. And this is not a lie. Okay, so the Saints Row website is back. Oh, I guess it never left. Where do you pre-order? It's not- I'm not gonna pre-order on... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, so... I want this. Platform PC. Region Australia. Retailer. Epic Games. Where's Steam? I'm not a, I'm not one of those guys who um hates on Epic for having their problems, but I like having games on one platform over oh, well, one launcher. It's a little annoying. I, I'm still gonna get it on Epic. We got um GOG Galaxy and that has the whole um uh, one launcher thing so you can just open GOG and run games off that so I, i'm good it's just like a lot of people are gonna be annoyed by this that there's no steam availability so i'm a i'm a pre-order this later uh okay <laughs> yes people say don't pre-order but i i like to do stuff that people don't like doing sometimes because who cares but uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.